So Heinz, can you tell me about how the CHB engine family works? Sure, Andy. Well, as you can see here from the animation, the engine is comprised of two combustion chambers. Each combustion chamber actually houses two pistons. Okay. So I have brought along two pistons that I can show. Those two pistons are opposing each other, moving away and closer to each other. And then you have in the second combustion chamber, obviously, the same going on right here. And as you can see from the shape of these pistons, they're actually bagel shaped to some degree, at least a sectional cut of a bagel, if you want to put it that way. Okay. So now, if you have a power stroke going on in, one of the, in the first combustion chamber, then after the power stroke occurs, you have the pistons moving away from each other, obviously due to the power stroke. While that is occurring, the pistons in cylinder two are actually moving closer together, having a compression stroke, and then obviously a power stroke again, which forces the pistons to move closer again up in the first cylinder liner, and actually forces a power stroke again up here. So actually, every power stroke in the opposite combustion chamber forces a compression versus a power stroke in the other combustion chamber, which is actually one of the things what makes this piss engine and engine lineup so much more efficient than any other engine, because you have less kinematic movement, less oscillating, meaning less mass inside the engine that moves to actually bring forth a revolution of the crankshaft. 